This morning, an FDA panel continues looking at a controversial procedure. Experts are considering approving a fertility technique, creating babies from the DNA of three people. The goal is to prevent defective genes, but some fear it could lead to so-called designer babies. Our Dr. David Agus is a professor of medicine at University of Southern California. He's in Los Angeles. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Nora. All right, so people hear three different parents. How does this work? Well, this is for a particular disorder called a mitochondrial disease. Mitochondria make 90% of the energy in the body, and they're part of the cell that has its own DNA, separate from the chromosomes that are inherited from the mother and the father. And so if somebody has a defective mitochondria, they can pass it on only from the mother to the child. So there's a technique where you can take out the nucleus that has all the good chromosomes from the mother and put it into a donor egg. And this egg has a normal mitochondria, not the faulty or defective one. And that, together with the sperm, can make the embryo. This has been tried in monkeys and mice. And it had been tried in the 1990s in an experiment in New Jersey where they were doing it actually on children without permission. And the FDA is debating this yesterday and today about its safety. Do you have any problems with this? I've got a lot of problems with it um, in that we don't know really, first of all, the safety in the child. You're committing a child to be part of an experiment for the rest of his life, mm -hmm. with obviously without their permission. And then whose job is it in our country to actually say, this is the moral and ethic backbone that we have to live by? Mm -hmm. The FDA addresses its safety, but who starts the conversation and actually starts to make decision about some of these bigger questions? Yeah, and, and what are the medical and ethical issues? Because some say now we're going down a slippery slope, designer babies. Well, that's a ways away, because this isn't affecting the chromosomes, remember, but it certainly could head there. And, and so we don't know its safety. And then you're right, when we get to that slippery slope, maybe you want a child who's smarter, taller, blue eyes, et cetera. And so we need to start to set the boundaries. This is being debated both in the UK and the United States, but we're predominantly debating its safety. We need to figure out a framework for the moral and ethics here. I think you make an excellent point about the moral and the ethics because we're actually far advanced that. We already know there's gender selection that's going on. You can prevent a number of diseases, but there's lots of people being talking about genetic correction or gene modification when it comes to picking babies that are smarter than other babies. These are going to become issues. You know, technology is changing so fast in this field and in all fields of medicine. And the problem is that our ethics, our ability to change how we're approaching it isn't changing as fast. So we need to start to build that framework so we as a country can do the right thing for our children's and our next generation. And this is going to be an important issue going forward. I'm glad it's coming to debate. I'm glad the FDA is addressing its safety. We need to address the other issues also. Really interesting point. Dr. David Agus, thank you.